What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Hans and back at it again today with another Tutorial Tuesday. Okay, I'll be honest with you guys, I hate these videos, okay? I hate videos that are super technical, like, oh my god, I'm gonna show you how to do this, like, it's not the focus of my channel, you know what I mean? I like to make tutorials where, like, I give you tips and tricks and cool, you know, things to do to your beast to make it better. But, I was listening to one of my beasts the other day, and I was like, why is this beat so bad? Like, it's good, but there's something off about it. And it was my 808s. My 808s were not in tune, ladies and gentlemen. And that's a key problem when you're making beats. And I'm going to help you fix that today. So, you know me. I'm not going to just give you a video where you're like, oh my God, Hans, you just showed us how to tune your 808s. That's it. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I got to give you the best possible value. Therefore, I'm going to show you two tricks today in Quick Sampler, okay? One, how to create instruments using one shot samples. And two, I'm going to show you how to tune your 808s. Let's get into this video. So I got Logic Pro X open right here. Before I get into the video, because I do value your time, ladies and gentlemen, I have some time stamps. If you want to skip to the specific part that you're looking for, you're able to do that. Without any further ado, guys, let's talk about how to create instruments using one shots in Logic Pro X. Okay, guys, so I got my Splice desktop app open right here. You can also use Loop Cloud, whichever you prefer. I have a link for both of them. Loop Cloud currently has a 30-day trial, so if you want to try that out real quick, it helps out my channel, plus you're able to get 30 days for free. If you don't like it, you can cancel it. I'm going to drag in this one shot right here into this empty region where it's going to open up the Quick Sampler. I don't like using Quick Sampler Optimized because it alters my sound. I like to go for Quick Sampler Original, so we're going to drag it in there now. So when you drag in a sample into Quick Sampler Original, or Optimized, whichever, it has the keys spread throughout the keyboard, so... So what I'm going to do now is add some effects onto this piano, spice it up, put some reverb and all these other effects in Logic Pro X. And this is a great strategy if you can't afford Omnisphere, you can't afford native instruments or contact and all this other stuff. You're literally able to expand your library for like $10 a month or for free using Loop Cloud. So let me add some effects on this and I'll show you the final result. All right, guys, so I just finished adding some effects onto the piano. I'm going to show you three different versions. The original sample we dragged, we're going to show you the Bose Endeavor Grand Piano and the one we added some effects onto it. And guess what? Because I'm a nice guy and you're watching my channel and I'm going to give you the best possible value, I'm going to give you the preset completely free, guys. It's right there in the description, including another preset I made the other day. I got to look out for you guys. Name another YouTuber that's going to do that for you. None. So let me show you this sample on the Bose Endeavor Grand Piano. This one, my 50 for 50 MIDI pack. I used this the other day, so that's going to be coming out in the future. It's not out yet, okay? I don't even have a website. So now we're going to show you the original sample we dragged with no effects. It sounds better than the Bose Never Grand Piano for sure. And I'm going to show you the one with the effects. Come on, baby. Completely different. So as you can see, guys, with as little as $10 a month or completely free using the link in Loop Cloud, you're able to create your own instruments. I don't want to hear any more excuses. Oh, so I can't afford on this here. Oh, so I can't afford native instruments. Oh, so I need like $3,000 for all these expensive sounds that I can't afford and my production is not being great. There's no more excuses, all right? With as little as $10 a month, like I showed you, you're able to get a bunch of one-shots, Add it in there, add some effects. You're able to create your own instrument right there on the spot, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Now, the next trick I want to show you is how to save it. So just go over here where it says um, PJJH key. Then go to Save Channel Strip Settings As, and let's call this one right here the free gift I am giving you, okay? You save that. So now when you open up a new track, you go over here to Setting, and it's right there, the free gift I am giving you. Let's drag this down here. Bam. Now the sample that we dragged is already in the key of C, but you're wondering like Hamza, what if I get a sample that's an F sharp and I hit this note over here and it's giving me an F sharp. I want this to be C. Well, the technique I'm going to show you right now also applies for the 808. We're able to get a sample that's in a different key and pretty much have it adjusted to the keyboard where every note you hit is the actual note itself. Let me show you that real quick. We're gonna go to my kit right now. I'm gonna drag in two 808s in the F sharp key. One right here. Like I said, I go to Quick Sample Original, Optimize Alters My Sound, which I do not like. We're gonna drag this one over here because I wanna show you the before and after. And now go to the track over here, go to Audio Effects, Metering, you wanna go to Tuner. Okay, so look, when I hit the C, it's gonna be an F sharp. You don't want that, you want C to be C. So what you want to do to get rid of that problem is you want to go to root key over here and adjust it till you get the right tuning. So we're going to open up the tuner here while this is here. And let me just go up here. I already did it prior, so I already know which one. But you want to adjust the root key till you get the right key. And now we're going to go here, look at the screen, and look here. 
Boom. C. C sharp. If you want to get the original note. But now you're like, oh my God, Hams, I got to do that every single time I get an 808. No, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you a technique right now to make your life easier. We're going to show you how to export it correctly so when you drag it in next time, it's already in key for you. You want to create a MIDI region of that note on the right key, okay? Don't put it back to F sharp where it says root key. You want to stick to C, okay? And you want to raise the velocity all the way up. I don't know why, but Logic Pro X seems to like compress it when you export it. I don't know. We're going to bring this back to 80 for now because I want to play it and we're going to cut off the sample where the sample ends. Let's watch that. Boom, right there. All the way down here. Let's watch it one more time. Perfect. Maybe a little longer. Leave it right there. And now, what I'm going to do is cut off this region here, export as audio file. I already have a folder. We're going to call it 2808 YouTube video. So, we're going to drag in the sample over here to Quick Sampler Original. Now, watch this. And now to prove to you that it worked, we're going to go to the original sample. I'm going to hit this note over here, which should be F sharp, as you can see. And now we're going to go to the one that we altered. I'm going to hit the F sharp. Remember, we changed it. So this is no longer F sharp. F sharp should be over here, if you know your keyboard. Bam, ladies and gentlemen. And that's how you tune your 808s. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. I tried to be as clear as possible and to give you as much value. I mean, name another channel that's going to give you a free kit for a tutorial. None, okay? So make sure to hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. Also, leave a thumbs up because it really helps on my channel. And if you want to watch other tutorial Tuesdays, there's a link for that in the description, including Freestyle Friday, my social media, my favorite plugins, just a bunch of good stuff, including that free kit that I'm giving you. So definitely check that section out. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and you have a wonderful day.